Hey y'all, this is Love and Hip Hop season, what is this, season six, season five, it's the season, uh, it's the uh, reunion, okay, if y'all want me to put the link up to the full episode, go ahead and hit that like button, now, I'm not putting it up without the likes, so, and it will be up on Twitter at Jazz Chapman, um, so first off, what are we going to talk about? BBOD and, let's see, Rashida Ali, uh, Young B, and Mariah Lynn. <laughs> okay. So BBOD is up there. Matter of fact, forget BBOD. We're going to talk about Rashida Ali and Yandy. Okay, now they are sitting up there arguing and... The host, Nina, she asked Yandy, um, <clears throat> did you feel like you were a pawn in the whole Remy and Rashida Ali thing? And Yandy was like, you know what? I don't, you know, I knew nothing about it. And she was like, oh, Rashida like, oh, okay. Here we go with that. I didn't know. Like a little princess. <laughs> And Yanny was like, I mean, I didn't know. How are you going to tell me that I did? She was like, you knew. You knew. You knew that me and Remy fell out. So Papoose is trying to, you know, smooth things out. And he's like, okay, now, here's, here's the real deal. When Yandy, not when Yandy, when Remy and Ra fell out, then it left a lot of time for Remy to do other things. The, so then she started hanging out with other people. And Rashida is like, bitch, I can't stand you. And I just wish you would own it. You always acting like you, you, don't un, you don't know nothing. So, you know, that whole thing with me and your friend, you didn't come to Remy like, okay, Rashida and my friend got a problem, but they ain't got nothing to do with me. You going to just act like you don't know. You knew, bitch, you knew all that. And Yandy was like, look. I'm not even here for all that crap. You know, I don't have nothing to do with that. I feel like you hit it because, I mean, I look great. And then she stand up. She was like, bitch, please. Okay, you don't even look good. You need to sit down and you can't dress. And she's like, really? Why, why are you so hateful? And Remy is like, look, I have to admit, Yandy, I did not see it before. I did start seeing it on the show when you started throwing digs at Rashi didn't see it. She wasn't a good uh, manager and, you know, she should uh, just sell them shoes. And <clears throat> Yandy is like, okay, well, I don't think that she was a good manager. I think that if you're going to manage, especially new artists, that you need to come with etiquette. And you need to um, have experience because you're going to need that experience to take them from point A to point B, basically. And so, all this while they're arguing, Young B is like, well, hold up. Y'all do all this arguing and cutting up and fighting and all that stuff. But y'all supposed to be examples for us. Y'all the ones yelling at us, telling us we need to act better. But look how y'all acting. And Rod, you trying to act like you better than her. Rod, like, I ain't trying to act better. Who said I'm trying to act better? She was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Rod, I do feel like Rod needs some etiquette. I never really quite felt that before in these past seasons. But yes, you are very unpolished. I should say that. Because even Nina was like, so basically you're saying Yanny uh, throws the rock and hides her hand. And, and hides her hand, sorry y'all. And she was like, yeah, yeah, see if I could just say it like that. <laughs> All nice and clean cut. So I'm like, oh lord. So then the whole situation with BBOD. Them, uh, them arguing about this situation with Mariah Lynn, okay, and Cardi B feels some type of way, cause she like, okay, y'all pussy, y'all go out there, y'all sit there and talk about how little she is, cause she a hundred pounds, y'all think y'all could just bully her, 
And Lexi like, what? wait a minute, where is this coming from, Carter? I don't even know you. And she was like, it doesn't matter. You you think you're going to sit here and bully her because you said she's five pounds. You could just walk past her and she'll blow away. Okay, y'all just trying to bully on her because she little. And so then they get up about to fight, arguing. Young B and Cardi B uh, then jumped up for Mariah's look. <laughs> For Mariah's sake, I was like, oh, I, 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 even though it was ratchet as hell, okay, it was still some, some goodness in Cardi's heart, okay, <laughs> it was some goodness in that, they did not want to see Mariah being bullied on because she was little, that's how they felt, now I feel like Lexi really was not bullying uh Mariah Lynn. She said she didn't have a problem with Mariah Lynn even at the whole uh fashion show. She just had a problem with Ra because Ra, you know, basically asked Mariah to be the perform and she didn't let her know nothing about it. And Remy like, okay, you a rapper and she has you model. I'm a gra uh, Grammy nominated rapper and she the bitch had me decorate. So really, <laughs> should you be offended? So that's it. They end up, you know, security end up breaking them up or whatever. And uh escort. I think BBOD left. Maybe they'll come back or whatever. And uh Cisco whack ass is out in the audience like why are they arguing? Cause um Mariah Lynn was like, you got a problem with me because I went and took your man. And he was like, I, I didn't go with neither one of y'all. I'm like, okay, don't don't act like that. Don't act like you weren't feeling him because you was, okay? And Mo was definitely your type. Next, um, they bring up the whole creep squad situation, which I was not expecting. She, you know, basically called them out. Was like, okay, all of y'all have men. I mean, daughters. <laughs> and you know, do you basically? What do y'all think about your daughter when y'all doing these things to women? So what? How do you think that they are going to view men? And Peter was like, you know what? What I can say is, I've already dealt with the karma. My daughter's called me crying about how she has been heartbroken, and I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't go check the dude because he's going to be like, for real, you trying to check me with all the stuff you got going on? So, you know, I'm dealing with it, and I feel like their karma is down the way. And, <laughs> hey, that that was one of the realest uh, conversations they done had on this show. Um... What else happened? Oh, Tara, Peter, and Amina. Them arguing over the whole situation with Tara being pregnant and Amina aborting the child. And Amina basically called Tara out like, okay, you with the married man, you's a side chick now. I'm not a side chick because I was with him 13, 14 years. I don't want to hear that excuse, Tara. Okay, because you was his side chick before you was with him 13, 14 years. Stop it. I am get, I get so sick of it. I'm with Amina on that. Even though Amina ain't no better, I'm with Amina on that. With this whole trying to act like a strong black woman. Okay, stop it. I'm sick of it. So then, as they're arguing, oh, and they have his daughter Whitney come up. And she was like, you know, I feel really disgusted by it. He's going around, he's getting these women pregnant, and, you know, it's taking time from his other kids. And I just think, basically, she felt like it was distasteful. And so then Nina asked, <laughs> Nina asked uh, Amina, how do you feel that Tara is going to be the last woman to have his baby? And she was like... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't feel any type of way about it because she's not the last woman to have his baby. I am. <laughs> we 
had already heard the rumor, y'all, but it was it was funny to watch. I wanted to know if it was true. So now Tower pissed because she found out Amina's pregnant. Girl, get over it. Um, what else happened? I think that's basically it. They bring up uh, Rich and his daughter. Uh, they ask him would he rather be daddy daycare or Cree squad. You know what? He's like, I would rather be daddy daycare anytime. And they ask him, do he feel like his baby mama miracle jump? you know, <laughs> was she overreacting? And he's like, well, you know what? I can't say that she's overreacting because truthfully, I, I have not been there. I can't just come after 16 years of not being in my daughter's life like I should and then tell Miracle how, how she should parent. She's been doing a great job all this time. So, I mean, it is what it is. And they ask her about the whole virgin thing. And he's like, you know what? I've had this conversation with her many and many of times. And it's always been, I'm still a virgin. But when the damn cameras is there and then she want to admit she didn't, she been lying. So, I was like, damn. But Miracle is going to kill her when she see that. Well, she probably already did. Girl probably in handcuffs. Chained to the base. <laughs> Miracle, don't play. But, oh, I forgot to admit the whole, uh, not to admit, I forgot to talk about the whole conversation with Cisco and Rich Dallas and, um, what's the child's name? Mariah Lynn. And, you know, of course, they're talking about, oh, we still good or whatever. They try to play Mariah. Like, you know, Mariah already meant she was a hoe. She said it in a song. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it. <laughs> <laughs> so they asked him what the, the relationship was. And she was like, you know what? You know, we, we had a relationship we uh, going on. And, and, and Rich is like, no. What we did was, we fucked, okay? We fucked before, we fucked in the car, whatever. So you want to call that relationship? She's like, okay. See, I wasn't even going to go there, but since you're trying to play me, I was pregnant with Rich. Now he's trying to play me like I went nothing to him. And they asked Rich, they like, Rich, was you really pregnant? I mean, was she really pregnant? And he was like, allegedly. Rich, you know you wrong. And, you know, of course, this goes admit, okay, yeah, we did have a bond because she really cared about her family. And, you know, I thought that was cool. I thought that made her a good person. I feel bad for using her. <laughs> so, yeah, that was it. Them pregnancy uh, bombs on this show. But, um, yeah, that was basically it for this episode. It was cool. So, we'll see what the next uh, reunion looking like, the next part two. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Jazz Chapman and Instagram at Jazz underscore Chapman. And y'all be easy. Peace.